to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Tom and today we are talking about adding library parts to SolidWorks Electrical. We want to start by coming to my library tab and selecting my manufacturer parts manager. From here I have a couple ways to add new manufacturer parts into my database. First way I'll show is using the import feature. From here I can select an Excel file that has my data for electrical components. Select next and I'll tell the database that I'm looking for a manufacturer part reference. I'll hit next again and now I'll describe how many rows I have that are describing these parts. So I have one title row. Select next. And now I can associate my database descriptions to my Excel file descriptions. So just by selecting and dragging and dropping I can start to assign my manufacturer parts with descriptions to each of these titles. Uh, description I'm going to put in English. Now my root as, as well as 3D parts that are inside of SolidWorks. It looks for a path for that 3D part. My final is going to be the library which I've created a CAD Dimensions Tech Tip library. So select next again before we can import, SolidWorks Electrical runs a comparison to make sure these, these objects don't already exist and we're not modifying them. So I have three new objects and now I'm ready to import these into the database. So just like that I can hit finish and now when I come into my filters I can search on CAD Dimensions Tech Tip, hit search and find the three new parts that I placed inside my database. Uh, I can see that they're inside this library, and if I go to properties, I can even see that I have a 3D part associated with it from my solid part file. The other way I can insert a part is by using the classification tab and selecting the type of part I want to create. So for this new connector, I'm going to select add manufacturer part. And from here, I can type in what my manufacturer part number is. I can select a manufacturer from the list in my database and I can assign a library from here. I can also fill out more information to describe this part such as a 3D part to tie to it. Going one step further I can describe the circuits and terminals required for this manufacturer part. So I'll add a miscellaneous circuit type as well as two terminals and we'll throw some names on here. Terminal A and Terminal B. So now I've fully described a new manufacturer part. Now if I go back to my filters and hit search, I can see that I have my fourth item here with two terminals as described. Thanks for watching this tech tip and stop in for more. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.